Hello and welcome to the news on Magic Bricks Now. I'm Amata Balachandra. Let's take a look at the top headlines at this hour. Massive setback for Ahmadmi Party. Delhi High Court has ruled that Lieutenant Governor is the administrative head of the national capital. Aap Supremo says, meanwhile, will challenge ruling in Supreme Court. The no helmet, no petrol rule will be implemented from the 6th of August. The Maharashtra government was supposed to roll out from Friday, the 5th of August. But politics, as usual, takes centre stage. While BJP calls it a move to ensure safety of motorists, the Congress surprisingly condemns this rule. Massive crackdown on tax evaders. Mumbai civic body, the BMC, to take drastic action to recover dues of over 4,500 crore rupees. Magic Pricks now gets you exclusive details. Our big focus on the news on Magic Pricks now. The Lieutenant Governor is the administrative head of the National Capital Territory. Now, the Delhi High Court has ruled on Thursday dismissing a petition filed by the AAP government challenging the powers of the Lieutenant Governor. Our reporter Deepa Rana gets us more details on this verdict. In a huge setback to the Aam Aadmi Party government today, it is the Delhi High Court that maintained that LG or the Lieutenant Governor is the administrative head in the national capital when it comes to land, law and order as well as police. The Aam Aadmi Party government had made a contention earlier that the LG must adhere to the Council of Ministers and must work on advice of the Council of Ministers, wherein uh, the Delhi High Court maintained that this contention is without substance and cannot be accepted. Also, this raises questions over uh, who is the final authority when it comes to taking administrative decisions in the national capital. And today, the Delhi High Court has made it clear that it is the Lieutenant Governor. In fact, the Aam Aadmi Party government is now uh, moving to the Supreme Court against this order. Uh, that is the stand which the Delhi government and the Aam Aadmi Party has maintained. When it comes to the LG, he has maintained that uh, the LG does report to the centre, but it should not be considered that the Lieutenant Governor is against the Delhi government. Government. This uh, order comes in the light of the several disputes which the Aam Aadmi Party government as well as LG has uh, had over past one year. In fact, the uh, Justice Chief Justice G. Rohini as well as Justice Jayant Nath in their 194 judgment maintain today that when it comes to administrative powers, the final authority lies with the Lieutenant Governor. Now after the Delhi High Court ruling, uh, Lieutenant General uh, Najib Jung spoke exclusively to Times Network's political editor Navika Kumar. Listen in. Unconstitutional means a very larger issue. Single issues mean that provisions of the constitution are being violated. For instance, I will tell you, uh, there is this uh, circle rates business in agricultural areas. A file had come to us uh, and, the De and the Delhi government fixed the circle rates. They should have sent the file for notification to me. It, it was not done. We called for the file because there is a provision um, in the transaction of business rules that we can summon files. When we summoned files, we found that there were a large, large number of lacunae or irregularities. We suggested to them that, look, you better remove them, which they did not do. And when they did not do, we declared it non est or the commissions of inquiry. Now, both of them have been declared illegal by the High Court. Uh, they, he, uh, the Delhi government does not have the legal sanctity to set up a Commission of Inquiry under the uh, Commission of Inquiries Act 1952. It has been clarified to them by the Delhi High Court. We told them several times. We must respect and we should respect the 67 number. Having said that, there are eight MPs in Delhi who have been duly elected by the people of Delhi. There are three municipal committees in Delhi that have been elected by the people of Delhi. They don't belong to the Aam Aadmi Party. So this elected business, we shouldn't exaggerate it. We should look at the constitutional provision of what a union territory with legislature is. And because you said you don't want to go into 239AA, I would strongly advise you to look at 239AA, which deals with 
uh, union territories with legislatures and that would clarify the entire constitutional position as it exists today and indeed I am sure because they are going to the Supreme Court I remain confident that they have no case. Mr. Arvind K. Jiwal says when there is a rape in Delhi he as the chief minister has to respond. In future when there are such incidents uh, in the city should people of Delhi knock on the LG's door and will you be answerable to people or will Arvind K. Jiwal be the only person we have to no, seek answers no, no, from? No, not at all. He is not responsible for law and order. Finally, it is, it is the Delhi police, the office of the LG and of course society as a whole. This, this will require a lot of education of people. We will have to look at the social infrastructure. We have to improve the economic uh, status of people. We have to improve this, the, the cheek and jowl living in small colonies of people. It will take time. But certainly uh, to, to blame the chief minister would be incorrect. As expected, just hours after Najib Jung's press conference, Aam Aadmi Party's second-in-command Manish Sisodia held a press conference as well. He says Aam Aadmi Party has the people's mandate and now they will challenge the ruling in the Supreme Court. I want to say that we are very clear with the High Court. We are very clear with the High Court. फैसला जो भी उन्होंने दिया है हमें पूरी उम्मीद है कि उन्होंने बहुत सारे पहलुओं के अध्ययन करके दिया होगा बहुत सारे पहलुओं को समझ के दिया होगा और वैसे भी एक नागरिक होने के नाते एक संवैधानिक पद पर बैठे होने के नाते हम अपनी पूरी जिम्मेदारी से माननीय उच्च न्यायालय के माननीय दिल्ली उच्च न्यायालय के प्रति पूरा सम्मान व्यक्त करते हुए कहते हैं कि हम इस फैसले से असहमत हैं मैं बहुत स्पष्ट करना चाहता हूं ये जंग वर्सेज केजरीवाल की लड़ाई नहीं है ये एल जी वर्सेज चीफ मिनिस्टर की लड़ाई नहीं है ये लड़ाई इस बात की है कि लोकतंत्र में हमारे संविधान में जो वी द पीपल से शुरू होता है वी द पीपल की चलेगी चुने हुए लोगों की चलेगी या सेलेक्टेड लोगों की चलेगी वी द पीपल से इलेक्टेड लोगों की चलेगी या सेलेक्टेड लोगों की चलेगी इस पे इस बात की लड़ाई है और ये एक बुनियादी क्वेश्चन है जिसको हम लेके सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाएंगे और सुप्रीम कोर्ट से हमें पूरी उम्मीद है कि वहां संविधान के दायरे में सारी व्यवस्था उस पर प्रकाश डालेंगे BJP and the Congress, meanwhile, were quick to jump into the fray as well. Listen in to what BJP spokesperson Samit Patra had to say. Aam Admi Party ko ek karara tamacha kanun aur nyay prakriya dwara aaj laga hai. Aaj se pahle, jo Aam Admi Party logon ko bargalane ki koshish karti thi, jis prakar ki nautanki karti thi aur kehti thi, हमें काम करने नहीं दिया जा रहा है आज अगर सही मायने में हाई कोर्ट के वर्डिक्ट को पढ़े निर्णय को पढ़े तो पता चलता है कि ये काम करना चाहते नहीं थे एंड देवर इन सर्च ऑफ एक्सक्यूज ये किसी प्रकार से काम करना नहीं चाहते थे ये बहानेबाजी में लगे हुए थे और आज बहाना पकड़ा गया है आज जब हाईकोर्ट के इस वर्डिक्ट के बाद मैं तो ललकार के कहता हूं आज इस हाईकोर्ट के वर्डिक्ट के बाद दे हैव लॉस्ट देर मोरल राइट टू बी इन द गवर्नमेंट सब कुछ जानते हुए भी आपने गैर कानूनी काम अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल काम किए सो यू हैव लॉस्ट मिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल द राइट टू बी इन पार यू शुड अप्रोच द पीपल ऑफ दिल्ली वंस अगेन आप तो कहते थे कि हम जनता की अदालत में जाएंगे हर चीज में जनता से पूछेंगे आज कहां छुप के बैठे हैं जो सत्ता के उपासना करने वाले लोग विपासना के नाम पे छुपे नहीं जनता के बीच में आए जनता की राय लें कि आखिरकार इतने वर्षों तक डेढ़ वर्षों तक जनता से झूठ क्यों बोला बरगलाया क्यों Our reporter Deepa Rana meanwhile caught up with Ajay Makan and Sheila Dikshit of the Congress party and asked them about the Delhi High Court judgment. A question to Mr Kejriwal also has been why should special dispensation be given to Mr Kejriwal? Uh, after all, uh, our uh, uh, former Chief Minister Sheila Dixit, the Congress ruled government, uh, before that Madan Lal Khurana, uh, Sahab Singh Verma, even Sushma Saraj, they were all following the same transaction of business rules and the Congress won six elections in Delhi in last six years while uh, performing under the same transaction of business rules, under the same framework of constitution. So why should special dispensation be given to Mr. Kejriwal? So uh, the Delhi government is now talking about moving to Supreme Court against this Delhi High Court order. Do you think anything can turn out? 
no i don't think it is just uh, 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 they have not been able to perform they uh, they have not been able to deliver on promises uh, the high expectations which people had on, had from them so just in order to divert attention uh, from non performance they are now talking of going to the supreme court and nothing will come out of it no but that's true because uh, delhi is uh, not a full state it's a union territory in which the uh, uh, according to the constitution the lg is the ultimate authority but of course the elected government also has a lot of say but it say is limited it always has to go to the lg in all other states also the governors and all have to be consulted and so what the uh, high court has said it has upheld the constitution then the delhi's chief minister arvind kejriwal had filed nine petitions and had earlier said that he can keep on filing nine petitions but the constitution you cannot petition against the constitution unless you have the capacity to be able to change the constitution you can change the constitution but you cannot uh, uh, you know file a petition against it ma'am doesn't it raise questions on the multiplicity of agencies that we now have in the national capital we it's always been there for 15 years i worked with them and there was never any problem like mentioned by the lieutenant governor and these are the words he used in the interview that he gave our our uh, parent channel times now he said the aam aadmi party's behavior is childish its interpretation of the law is laughable and he said the party and the chief minister all together are paranoid do you agree i think uh, of course uh, i will i may choose different language and different words Uh, but i think he is right because unfortunately aam aadmi party either by uh, lack of understanding or by design has been telling people of delhi that they are not allowed to work the same delhi under the same rules was governed by sheila dikshit for 15 years and there was absolutely no issue while making the promises they were they very well knew that they this is they are they are contesting a election of a union territory when kedriwal from jantar mantar said Uh, that he is uh, leaving anna and forming a political party uh, uh, to to change the system he very well knew that he is entering into a politics of a state which is a union territory and union territory has some some limitations and today the court has clarified the position the which was given. clarified by the supreme court nine judge bench in 1997 when the supreme court said that there is a union territory and center and the has the, the final control the of the delhi state. did okay. arvind kejriwal did not know this when he contested okay. elections okay here are the here i have details of the money that's been transferred by the state government to the mcd and, there is and what was 374 crore rupees Hello. in july 2016 me, 551 crore rupees in february 2016 to pay the salaries of the staff rk mishra i'm going to just come back to the same thing all i want to know is who is responsible for delhi now whether or not arvind kejriwal has done his job or not my point is if delhi is in the state that it is right now can the lieutenant governor given the uh, given our fresh understanding of his powers in delhi can't he come forward not, work Arvind with Kejriwal? the mcds and fix the he problem he has been spending If, crores on the advertisement why are you trying to shield arvind kejriwal aapko lagta hai ki sare jo jitne services aapko mil rahe hain aapko mil i'll give you i'll give you my 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 example what uh, it's about 2 to 3 months ago when i submitted my grievance on mcd portal that the roads in our colony that the parks the children park in our colony is not at all maintained it's so unhygienic so i submitted this grievance that please look into this matter and clean the things so that it is harmful in terms of spreading the diseases What like dengue malaria and all things batayi kaun si colony hai kal karke denge batayiye kaun si colony hai ashok i am telling you I, if you want batayiye na batayiye just just, just hold on tell him yes. just tell him don't call just hold on incident. कॉलोनी का नाम बता दीजिए आप उनको It's a shock. I am not. See, being a citizen, I don't concern about BJP. I am not. 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 I am not.
अगर अगर कहीं कोई कमी है ठीक करेंगे ना इसका मतलब आप अरविंद केजरीवाल को छोड़ देंगे ऐसा कैसे चलेगा अरे कोई किसी को नहीं छोड़ रहा है मिस्टर सूर कोई किसी को नहीं छोड़ रहा है आप बस बताइए कि आप ये पाक से ठीक करवा देंगे कहाँ है अशोक नगर अशोक बिहार अशोक ऐसा थोड़ी है आप बताइए पार्क का एड्रेस दीजिए मेरे नंबर पर योर चैनल हैज माय नंबर सेंड मी द पार्क पार्क डिटेल एड्रेस आई एड्रेस इट इज वीक टाइम आई एम प्रॉमिस यू आई एम टेकिंग योर वर्ड्स एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट हैपेंस टुमारो I I have the complaint number with me, and let's see if we can But clean this those cannot areas. Be. For stray incidents, you cannot. You must understand. If you are a responsible citizen, you must understand when the road, when water is locked on a on a main road, who who does it belong to? It cannot happen. It cannot happen like this. People chose Aam Aadmi Party because they thought that Aam Aadmi Party would think for the Aam Aadmi, right? So, as a result. It was a total opposite. They should not be Aam Aadmi Party. They should be Self Party. The name should change from Aam Aadmi Party to Self uh, Self Thinking Party. Something like this, which should depict that they are thinking for themselves only. From Delhi to Mumbai now, mo uh, moving on to a Magic Bricks now exclusive. Mumbai's no helmet, no petrol rule. We learn that the rule will now be implemented from the sixth of August. Maharashtra government has now laid out clear-cut rules to implement the rule which asks petrol pumps to issue petrol only if the motorist is wearing a helmet. Maharashtra government says this move is to ensure road safety. We also learned that the fine has now been increased from 100 rupees to 500 rupees. Maharashtra's transport minister Divakar Raute will make the announcement on Thursday. that police stationed at petrol pumps will be solely responsible for law and order not petrol pump owners additionally two policemen will be stationed at all 223 petrol pumps uh, in mumbai traffic police is now urging every petrol pump to also sell helmets lastly this rule and fine of 500 rupees will be applicable for pillion riders as well Meanwhile like always politics takes ten, uh, center stage BJP Congress face off over the rule for road safety for motorists continues listen in let me tell you there is no opposition as such for all over the state it is opposition only from the pune so mumbai is implementing aurangabad is implementing according to me 70 more than 70% nagpur is implementing so major people they have realized the helmet is necessary the opposition is because of pune people they don't want helmet and they don't want to wear helmet because they say that we have got very small roads this is not my will or this is not what i want to do it is a directed and guided by the uh, supreme court that helmet is must uh, the kerala the madhya pradesh andhra they have already implemented no helmet no petrol actually there were 11 uh, petitions in the uh, Madhya Pradesh High Court and all were rejected and Madhya Pradesh High Court has implemented uh, compelled all the uh, two wheelers that they will not get any petrol diesel without helmet. We think Gadkari has uh, coming up coming out with the very uh, severe, severe punishment on this issue. Not only the penalty but cancellation of license. But sir, when you when you made the statement in the house, the opposition of course then later on then asked uh, to the government to revisit and revise its own decision. This is first time I have experienced that opposition has welcomed my statement. No petrol, no diesel. There was some reservations because they th thought that there will be a lot of problems on the petrol pump. There will be a lot of jagra. There will be a lot of uh, resistance on petrol pump. So they were they were not against the implementing of the fine. So they were they were against the implementing of no no helmet no petrol. That's what I'm saying. That That's against no helmet no petrol. So you are you going to implement it or not implement? Tomorrow I'm going to make a statement on this issue. So, but sir, I, is the Maharashtra Jura government going you, to implement I, or not? I cannot tell you because I have to. Uh, 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 make this statement in the house first. But, sir, the government is not going to go back on this decision. Are you going not to go, go back? back for your kind information? I am coming with a such a formula sir. that you will surprise. The basic issue is there has been a set law yes. about using of helmets. Hmm. Now we have law enforcement agencies which which have to ensure the effective implementation of that uh, act. Hmm. Now instead of in, in, uh, ensuring enforcement of the act. Now you come up with a new idea about uh, which the government recently announced: no petrol, no helmet, no petrol. I think this is a ridiculous uh, idea uh, thinking which the government is doing. 
So why do you, why in the first place we have enacted a law wherein helmets have been made compulsory? So that is what the objection is. Well, we're going to keep a close watch on the no helmet, no petrol rule here on Magic Bricks now. Now, after the big face-off between Mumbai's local taxis, also known as Kali Peeli, and online aggregators like Ola and Uber, today the taxi union representing local taxi drivers met Maharashtra CM Devendra Fadnavis. CM, we hear, has assured the Kali Peeli drivers that they will soon get an application of their own now, this application will uh, function just like Ola and Uber and in fact, it will be completely funded by the Maharashtra government. The final decision we hear on this, on making rules more stringent for online aggregators and the proposed application will be taken on the 8th of August. Moving on, crackdown on property tax evaders in Mumbai. The BMC is revisiting its tax collection procedures could take drastic steps like cutting water supply to recover tax dues is what we learn. My colleague Disha Shah gets us this exclusive. BMC is getting stuck with property tax evaders. In fact, the civic body is willing to take that strict action by cutting water connection of the property owner to ensure that people pay up. In fact, the BMC is uh, currently working on a circular to reform the property tax policy and that Magic Bricks now has the exclusive uh, copy of that circular. In fact, top officials in the BMC told Magic Bricks now that this circular will be presented by uh, Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis in an ongoing assembly session. In fact, how this will work if the proposal gets passed or implemented is first a uh, uh, BMC will send a 10-day notice to the defaulter to pay up the property tax. After 10 days, if uh, the owner doesn't end up paying the property tax, then a 2% penalty will be imposed on the owner. And again, a 21-day deadline will be given to the owner to pay up the property tax. But again, after a 21-day notice, again, uh, if the owner doesn't end up paying the property tax, then water connection will be cut by the BMC. Again, uh, after that 21-day uh, notice period will be given to the owner to pay up the property tax. But again, if the owner doesn't pay up uh, the property tax, then an attachment notice uh, will be uh, given by the BMC where BMC will seize all the movable properties except the three gun and uh, you know essential commodities. Again, a 21-day uh, period will be given by the BMC to the owner to pay up the property tax. But again, if uh, they fail to do so, then BMC will restrain and restrict them from entering the premises. And then, uh, but this will happen only after taking approval from the concerned authority in the BMC, depending on the capital value and the outstanding value of the property. And lastly, if uh, uh, even after all the notices, if the uh, owner doesn't end up paying the whole amount of property tax, uh, then BMC will physically vacate all uh, all that property, all that property, and uh, uh, you know will auction that property. In fact, uh, uh, the old, uh, the current, uh, the current uh, uh, property tax formula BMC said was not quite working and was quite not effective. So this basically reform policy will help them to recover uh, the which they claim is uh, more than 4,500 crore rupees. This is Vishasha for Magic Fix now. Shifting focus to Bengaluru, some relief coming in for residents of Jayanagar in Bengaluru. The BMRCL or Bangalore Metro Rail Corporation has now decided to realign its metro line passing from RV Road to Boma Sandra. Sources tell us that the stations will remain the same, but the route on the stretch will be realigned. The earlier route that cut through Jayanagar 8th block was eating up a major portion of a park in Jainagar. The 18.82 km stretch will only cut through 368 meters of that park as opposed to the earlier 894 meters. Magic Bricks now learns that the detailed project report for the proposed line will be submitted to the government within the next 15 days. Moving on to Pune now, Punekers will have to wait till next year for implementation of the Pune Metro. The required approvals from the central government are only for the first stage and they are yet to be completed. Ruchi Deshpande gets us the latest. 
it looks like the citizens of pune will have to wait further for uh, pune metro to be implemented now note that uh, chief minister of maharashtra devendra fadnavis had promised uh, during the time that it was announced uh, that pune metro's plan had been approved that the implementation for the same would take place this year that is in 2016 itself but we found uh, we found out from the pune municipal corporation that the uh, the draft for the pune metro uh, has been sent to uh, 27 departments of uh, the government of india's urban uh, development ministry and they will now invite uh, queries and suggestions to the uh, pune municipal corporation if they find any now out of these two uh, the pune municipal corporation has already received a query for which uh, from the archaeological survey of india so they need to get an approval for them and secondly uh, they also need a no objection certificate from the central railway authority both of these things uh, they said are in the process uh, one thing that is uh, that is moving in this regard is a financial data document that has to be submitted by the pmc to the government of india which will uh, take place tomorrow but that still leaves us uh, with the rest of the departments if they have queries note that uh, this process is just for the financial sanction or uh, needed for the pune metro after which uh, uh, the government of india will uh, give the sanction for the implementation process and these sources also told us that after the financial sanction has been obtained it takes an uh, at least 8 to 9 months for the next sanction to be obtained so we are easily looking uh, at the implementation of pune metro next year that is in 2017 Meanwhile, Wednesday was a historic day. The goods and service tax uh, has now been passed in the Rajya Sabha unanimously. While this will make white goods far cheaper, on Magic Picks now we ask how will the GST impact the real estate market? My colleague Suvesh Savant caught up with Niranjan Hiranandani at Naredco's 13th National Convention and also asked him if the RERA agreement model draft will make the norm stricter for developers. Listen in to this conversation. Okay, firstly, uh, how do you think the GST will impact real estate? Do you think it's beneficial for the developers? How will it trickle down to the consumers? I don't know yet what they are going to do as far as this is concerned, because there's, you know, various other things which are not usually coming under the GST, which is like the stamp duty, uh, various development charges, and other taxes which are there at the local level as well as the state level in terms of stamp duty. So all these issues are definitely not decided. It is up to the state government which they will subsume into GST, and that's yet to be seen. Uh, the challenge, of course, is how are they going to do a reduction as far as rates are concerned? That, that's exactly what I was going to come to. So yeah. basically, will get ho- uh, will, will homes get cheaper for the buyer? Uh, it's up to the government really to decide how they want to subsume uh, these uh, taxes and other things. But uh, there's no statement by the government that they plan to reduce taxes. All right. Uh, th- how much time do you think it will take for the effect to really come about after the GST gets implemented? Uh, Everybody is saying that uh, April is quite a challenging time for the finance minister to bring in this act. But I think all in all, uh, at least by next June, it will happen. Okay. Uh, with the uh, RERA uh, draft model agreement, do you think the norms are getting stricter for developers? No, I think it's better for the consumer. That's how I would look like to look at it. There's more transparency. There's only one problem which is severe, which is uh, two actually. The one is that they are going to impound 70% of the money, which means that the liquidity with the developers will be less. And the second, the penal provision is one-way traffic. So if the occupation certificate is not obtained due to some fault of the government or the local authorities, there's no penalty on the government, but there's a penalty on the developer. I think that's a challenge. Okay. Uh, with the uh, RERA uh, draft model agreement, do you think the norms are getting stricter for developers? No, I think it's better for the consumer. That's how I would look like to look at it. There's more transparency. There's only one problem which is severe, which is uh, two actually. The one is that they are going to impound 70% of the money, which means that the liquidity with the developers will be less. And the second, the penal provision is one-way traffic. So if the occupation certificate is not obtained due to some fault of the government or the local authorities, there's no penalty on the government, but there's a penalty on the developer. I think that's a challenge. Niran Janhiran and Dani there saying it's too premature to talk about the GST bill considering states will now have to implement it. Also note this bill will be rolled out only on April 1st, 2017. With that, we've completely run out of time here on the property news on Magic Bricks. Now, thank you for watching.
You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.